Hello and welcome to the section of this course on access control or also known as parental controls. These days there's a great deal of concern over what our kids are being exposed to on the internet. On the other hand the internet is a fantastic learning, research and communications tool which we don't want to deprive our kids of entirely. Fortunately many home networking routers have access control settings we can use to arrive at somewhat of a happy medium and limit our children's exposure to harmful sites and activities on the internet. Access control is implemented a little bit differently on all routers, but it all boils down to basically the same thing. We can fairly easily deny access to certain sites on the internet, and we can deny access to the internet entirely to certain computers. Both of these options can be scheduled to happen at certain times and in certain days of the week. So let's take a look at the access controls on this particular router. And we'll find those under content filtering. So let's start off with blocked sites. So basically what this section does is it gives us the ability to filter out certain words or particular sites. Now what I've found is trying to filter out particular words doesn't work too well. There are a lot of sites out there with dynamic content such as blogs and social networking sites and what happens on those kind of sites are not so easily picked up as they would be if there was a certain word embedded in the actual static HTML of a page so basically what I'm saying is just typing in a bunch of bad words in here probably isn't going to do you any good however typing in an actual entire site will do wonders. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with Google. We're just using Google as an example. So now we have a site that we want blocked. And then the question is, when do we want it blocked? Well, never per schedule, which means we can go in here and we can set an actual schedule or always. Well, just for the purposes of this demonstration, let's just click always so you can see what happens when you actually block a site. Now we're going to actually try to go to Google, and we'll see what happens. Website blocked by Netgear Firewall. So now if you're the adult in the house and you feel you should be able to access Google if you want to, well you can just put your IP address down here under allow trusted IP address to visit block sites and then you would just type the IP address of your computer in here. Now let's look at blocked services. What's that all about? Now once again we can do this we can schedule this to happen either never always or per our schedule. So there's nothing under here so what we want to do is we want to add a service type. Now look at this. What we can do we can block out HTTP entirely which means no access to the internet whatsoever will be permitted. We can do that on all IP addresses or we can do it only on a certain IP address or a range of IP addresses. And then what we can do is we can go to schedule and we can say that rule applies every day of the week or just certain days of the week, all day, or during just certain times of the day. Say we only want to allow our kids to access the internet on their computers from 6 o'clock at night to 10 o'clock at night. Well, we'd say, well, we're going to start blocking at 22, which is 10 o'clock in military time, to 18, which is 6 o'clock in the afternoon. We'd apply once this is done on those days during those hours whoever tries to access the internet on the computers that we specified under blocked services will not be able to unless it's between the hours of six o'clock in the afternoon and ten o'clock at night so let's look at another implementation so what we want to do is we go to access restrictions and on this router, it gives us the ability to create individual little 
policies. And we can give each policy its own little name, such as bedtime. And then we can enable it or disable it. Then we can choose which PCs on our network are affected by this policy. So this little pop-up comes up and we can select the PCs we want and enter them according to either their MAC address, their IP address, or we can enter a whole range of PCs in here. Now remember, if you enter a computer's IP address, that IP address is liable to change if it's set to DHCP. So if you use a computer's IP address in one of these policies, you're going to want to make sure it's a, either a static IP address or a DHCP reservation. So for now, let's just deny access to PC 192.168.1.11. And then we're going to say he is denied access to the internet. on weekdays from 12 at night to 9 in the morning. Click Save. And we have a policy and we can read the summary of that policy just to make sure it's what we want or in case we forget later. And from here, we have a nice graphical representation of all the policies that we've created. So basically, that should give you a good idea of the kind of control you have over the activities that take place on your home network. And that concludes this section on access control.